So in my last video, I talked about some of my tactics of what I do to make money. And in this video, I'm going to tell you five tactics that I do to stay busy, even if it's dead. What are my tips and tricks to keep going and making that money? Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to discuss with you exactly what I do. My bread and butter, my ace in the hole. What I do, if it's dead and I have nothing more, I am all out of tricks. What is my main trick? Stick, stick through the video and get that bonus at the end. So guys, I put this as number one. Um, this is kind of what I do all the time when I'm driving. Um, I keep an eye, uh, number one, I keep an eye on what all the other taxis are doing. And my reasoning for that is the taxis have been here longer. They've been doing this longer. They have more wisdom and knowledge about where the places to go are. And a lot of times I will see them lined up at a particular hotel or I will see them lined up at a train station or a bus station. And so I will, I don't have to wait in line or in a queue. I will just wait in that area, kind of near the, tr the, the taxis, and I'll get pinged and I'll be after there, after going after the people. So that is my number one trick. Um, if I'm wandering around, I even see three or four taxis drive by, I'll follow them. I'll just aimlessly follow them because if they're going, they know where the, the busiest sides of town are. They know what's the busiest areas. They probably even know when things shut down and when things are busy. So a lot of times I will, if that's my only tactic, that's my first and foremost tactic. If that's the only thing I can find to do, that's what I do. But I am going to give you four more tactics of what to do if you are busy, if it's slow, and you want to get that next ping. So, the next thing I do is I go to buses or train station. Go by the buses, go by the train station. Um, a lot of times I know when the buses are coming, when they're going. Um, and my rule of thumb is a lot of times... They're coming around the, uh, the, the hour. So like, um, I'll try at noon, I'll try at two, I'll try at four, I'll try, I, I do I like a two hour rule. If the, you, I, I always check on the evens of the hour and see if there's anybody there. But this is my main, one of my main tricks. This is like a bonus. I will not wait more than 15 mi to minutes if I'm just in in an area I can't get out of. And if I'm waiting in line at uh, a bus station or a train station, I try not to wait any more than a half an hour because I still need the rest of the half an hour to keep going and making that money. So if I'm going to try a bus or a train station, I'm going to try to remember to know ahead of time when the trains are going to be there, when the buses are going to be there, so that way I'm not wasting my time just sitting around. A lot of times, the buses and the trains differentiate. Uh, one of the ways I could know that is there is, in Chicago, um, there's a, a Ventra app and it'll tell you where when the buses are getting off when the trains are getting off but even if you don't know you can still go wait by there at 10 15 minutes and usually you get a ping uh, the next place I like to go it's a tourist attraction it is in my area but I'm sure you have um, if you are in Atlanta or um, Nashville I'm sure you have a main attraction that people like to go to um, whether, it's, whether it's the Grand Ole Opry or something, but I like to go to Navy Pier. And they have staging, they have a, where 
you pick up your people there. And I will stage there and I will wait. And usually within 10, 15 minutes, somebody gives me a ping. Also, I make sure I turn on both the Uber and the Lyft app. That way I know that I'm going to get something. Somebody's going to give me something. The next thing that I do, and I'm sure whether you're in Atlanta or the Grand Ole Opry or, or wherever you are, California, um, you have a main shopping area, malls, shopping areas where people love to shop. And that is where I will go. I like to go to Michigan Avenue. And a lot of times I've heard other Chicagoan YouTubers say they will pick up a ride on Michigan Avenue and they'll end up going up Michigan Avenue on Lakeshore Drive. They'll get up there and somebody will want to go down Michigan Avenue. And that'll be like a double bonus because you get a ride up and a ride down, right? And it's a beautiful ride. The next thing I like to do is I like to kind of go around the hotels. There's something to be said for there's something to be said for all these cab drivers that are hanging out at the hotels. You're going to get picked up at, I'm sure you're going to get a run, at 6 o'clock, 5.30. If you're around a hotel, bam, and I'm sure you're not going to be waiting very long. So, as opposed to going all the way to the airport. So, that leads me to my last uh, ace in the hole my bread and butter what I do I usually work from 2 30 3 30 at, in the afternoon until 10 o'clock at night my ace in the hole is I were I make sure I'm in the city of Chicago where all the surge is at by the four o'clock rush, usually 3.30, I'm try to be in the city, okay? Where I live at in the Botanical Gardens, sometimes it's an hour ride to get into the city. So I try to get leave at 2.30 to 3.30 at the latest. Get into the city. Then it's surging in the city, right? And I'll put my destination, I'll get in the city where it's surging. Plus from five until seven, there are the three dollars per ride bonuses i will take those three dollars per ride every ride i get bam 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 boom around inside the city i'm getting not only am i getting surge but i'm getting the three dollars bonus but at seven o'clock everything slows down and then what do i do well i just happen to know and this is my ace in the hole i just happen to know there is no waiting from 7.30 to 9.30 at O'Hare. So I, t even if I don't have anybody in my car, I deadhead, and that's a word for going with nobody in your car. I deadhead to O'Hare, and bam, I'm off and going till 8, 10, or till 10 o'clock at night. And sometimes even if I end up in Schaumburg, way far away, way far away, Aurora, wherever, I'll, I'll deadhead back. Because the surge will still be going on till 9.30 at night. So, that is my tip for you so that you can make money. You can make that at 40 hours a week. I made, last, last week I made like $900. You can do that and you don't have to drive your ass off. Make sure you're driving during the surge hours in the surge areas when they're offering bonuses go for the bonuses and then hit up the other places that you know are surging you can do that in Atlanta you can do that in Nashville you can do that in California you can do that anywhere go to where the surge is at that time if you know every day Chicago is surging or every day Atlanta is surging or Nashville is surging be there by the time it starts surging every day that's your ace in the hole give me a thumbs up like comment share subscribe thank you guys